Welcome back to the Sports Bank Zone. San Antonio Spurs beat uh, LeBronless Lakers 117 110 on Monday night to snap a four game losing streak. The struggling Spurs, who sit 12th in the Western Conference, got 26 points from young gun DeJounte Murray. It was a milestone night for Greg Popovich, who won his 1,335th game as head coach, tying Don Nelson for the most in NBA history in the regu regular season. Coach Pop is now in his 26th season as head coach of the Spurs and presided over all five of the team's NBA titles in 1999, 2003, 2005, 2006 and 2014. He has won the Coach of the Year honor on three occasions. He's famous for his withering responses to questions from reporters. And we present you with us with this selection. And one at home since December 1st. I mean, defensively, what was the issue? Did I, did I just say that we were pathetic on defense? Well, all right, so what would what, you like me to do? What, would what? you like me to slit my throat or... No, like, what was pathetic about Beat it? myself up or something like that? Can you get more specific about what no, was No, I'm pathetic? not going to give you a coaching clinic. Mm -hmm. Are you going to start? Can somebody else start? Because these questions are, like, unanswerable. They make no sense. Like, hey, what did you think of so-and-so's play tonight? It was, yeah, it was my question. So, go ahead. Well, I'll prove it. Go ahead. What's your question? Pop, you think this team needs a major overhaul to be able to challenge for a championship? We, we, just, we just lost in the first round I'm not going to think about overhauls I'm going to get a bite to eat and maybe have a a Gatorade we, we probably should try hard to win that game that would that would be the urgency geez a oh whiz guys come on Jam, tell me about your fiery uh, Francophile, the uh, Parisian torpedo, Tony Parker. Can he continue to be your main butter and egg man and still cook the boys from Big D? Am I being pumped or something? Or? Come on. I'm old. My hand shakes. Your hand should shake. Sit straight. Relax. Next guy that misses a free throw is going to buy me a new car. Joining us now to speak on Coach Pop on the Spurs is our NBA analyst, Alistair Albert. Alistair, good afternoon. Hi there, guys. Good afternoon. And happy International Women's Day to everyone. Our females watching the program today. Excellent. You know, I, I, yeah, the man is right. My, my production team, they, they, these guys are, 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 are like that. They, they're saying, everyone, and I said, well, we are all from women, so the greeting is, is, is quite opposite, right? Right, right, yeah. There you go. <laughs> Uh, I, I must tell you, Alistair, I've been a part of some of those NBA scrums myself. Uh, and and I, I, it amazes me the questions that some of these guys ask. And I'm like, man, you are inviting the, 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 the person being interviewed to insult you. And Greg Popovich is one who doesn't miss a chance to make it clear that you are stupid with that question that you're asking and you're wasting his time. Top man. Anyway, let's talk about his career. What a man. Yeah, man, the guy is a, is a, has been a stalwart in this league, you know, started coaching in 1996, you know, he had, a, I, I suppose someone might say, you know, he was, a, he had a bit of a silver spoon, you know, in his mouth when he came in into coaching, having David Robinson and, and drafting Tim Duncan the following year in 1997, 1998. And, you know, and he's went on to have a very prolific career, of course, now tying Don Nelson with the, the most wins, uh, career wins in the regular season uh, in, the, in NBA history. Recently, he was uh, anointed. Well, anointed. Yes, I said I could use that word as one of the, t the top fifteen players in the history of the NBA in, in the coaching coaching ranks. And you know, it's all well deserved. You know, it's this is a guy who's put in the work. He's paid his dues. He's won five championships. He's third in the all-time coaching wins uh, for for uh, championship wins behind Phil Jackson and Red Auerbach. And you know, he, you know, he's he's one of a kind. You know, as we've seen in those um, uh, media scrums, you know, he has a bit of a personality, a bit prickly. Uh, but you know, he's he's all he's all fun and games with his his players. You know, he's he's. He comes across that way to the media, but his, all his players always say, you know, as much as he is accountable and very tough on them, he's very loving and very, you know, nurturing to them in their professional careers and personally as well. So, you know, he's a, a, a holistic guy, all-round um, coach, and, you know, it's it's great to see him reach that milestone and, you know, he, he's still there um, adding to that record. You know how I know when a coach is, is, is genuinely good, Alistair? When his ex-players, those who've moved on to other teams and even those who've retired under his hand, everybody speaks well about them. And, and, and I look at the, the variety of personalities that Greg Popovich has had. I remember him having Dennis Rodman when he was a spur for that time. And they, they, I'm trying to remember the pastor's name. Was it Avery Johnson? 
It was the same, same, it was the same David Robinson team. He was a shorter fellow with, with a, it was him. Yeah, yeah. The, a very hard character to deal with. I found him difficult to deal with and I was only a fan. But I'm just saying that the varying characters that he's had to deal with and nobody ever left and said, oh, he's a crap coach, he's overrated. Everybody, maximum respect. It speaks to the enduring quality of the man. From guys who are absolutely disciplined, like Tim Duncan, like David Robinson, you know, to guys like Dennis Rodman, like you mentioned, guys like Steven Jackson, you know, who we know is like one of those hard-nosed, you know, gangster-type guys, you know, sorry to use the word gangster, but, you know, he does come across really hard, you know, and tough, you know, tough, straight kind of guy. And, you know, I don't think he would kind of say he, he's not that. So, you know, he's, he's managed all types of personalities. And I think what you could see from that, you know, the spectrum of guys that he's, he's coached, international players, you know, U.S.-born guys and everything, you know, they all just, you know, value how he coaches them. It's, it's about accountability, but there's a certain level of respect and an and, 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 and aura that he, he carries about himself in, in the way he, he goes about his business. You know, he, he doesn't try to belittle players. It's, it's just a all about accountability and you know when, when I look at the stats and look at everything that you know he's been able to accomplish you know this is a guy who people have considered and his team has been considered dry and boring and everything but as you look through everything really closely you could see this is someone who was really keen on adapting to the way the game has gone from you know high 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 um uh, stats in blocks and defensive stats and everything to one of the coaches with the most um, three pointers attempted and made on his teams combined, you know, across history. So, you know, he's been able to move with the times and kind of bring players who have the specific skills for the era that they play in and, you know, just maximize that talent to kind of get the wins that he has. And, you know, he's done that expertly and that's why he is where he is. Definitely brilliant that he has been able to adapt because, you know, he's been at the helm for a very long time. Pop is now 73 years old. Maybe we can talk a bit about what he himself has contributed to the game of basketball. You know, well, the obvious stuff is like, of course, the wins, you know, being being a record holder. And he will poss possibly pass that this week. You know, the next game is in Toronto. That's a pro probably a very win winnable game. Um, you know, he's going to he's going to make that mark this year. And I think it's it's just the level of discipline, you know, that he's brought to the to the table, you know, and, and the, the, the types of wins that they were able to ac accomplish during his tenure. You know, one thing I, I suppose we could all kind of thank Coach Pot, uh, Popovich for is uh, load management. I think all of us could probably remember, you know, that a uh, very uh, lovely joke about the uh, DN DMP old that he gave to Tim Duncan because you know he was he was old and you know he wanted to give him a bit of a rest and you know he kind of used that that to his advantage. You know he kind of grated on David Stern um, not being able to you know put players on the court and being fined for it and everything, but he was trying to maximize the health of his team as they went into the playoffs. So I think that's one of the things that he'll be remembered for. And of course, these, these personality, um, you know, clips that we saw there, you know, his gritty, very uh, bristly uh, uh, sideline interviews and everything. Although a lot of people have kind of complained about it, you know, it's, it was provided, you know, uh, a media gold, you know, gems in the vaults that we could all go to. I had a, a huge laugh in the, in the background whilst one of those things, those clips were playing because, you know, he's just amazing how he came up, how witty he is with some of the responses he gave. So all of that, I think, just contributes to who he is and the man that he is. Yeah, and now that he has made this achievement, and I mean, he's 73 years of age, and that's um, a milestone to achieve in itself. Do you see him, you know, maybe stepping away from the game that he knows and loves anytime soon? I think it's it's one of the things that he, he has probably been watching. I remember when uh, LaMarcus Aldridge was uh, brought in from Portland, you know, he made a commitment to him and said, you know, I will be there for the, the duration of your contract. I'm not going to retire. I'm not sure what conversations he's had with De Deontay Murray. But I know he would want to leave the ownership and um, R.C. Buford, the GM, with a good hand of talents for them to work with. So, you know, I don't know how much longer Pop will play for. It probably has about maybe, maybe two or three seasons left. But even like we saw with Tom Brady in the other sport, NFL, you know, guys who think they could go on forever after a while just decide to call it quits. And this is a guy who has accomplished as much as, as anyone in the sport. He's kind of done everything there is to do. You know, if he decides to walk away at the end of this season or, or, or next, you know, he has every right to. Um, but I think that time is definitely coming. And who knows, you might see somebody like Becky Hammond, maybe, you know, first woman at head coach in the, in, in the, in the NBA or other or someone else on, on the bench who could come in and, and take the, the team to the next decade of success. I know it's obvious to say Tim Duncan. Who's the best player he has coached? Kawhi? 
Ooh, it's Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan. Tim Duncan is like top in, in the top ten rankings for for the top um, top I'm players being of all time. I'm being so um, yeah, I support many different seasons. Okay, all right, cool, fair enough. Definitely up there in terms of all rounded skill players. So definitely up there with Tim Duncan. All right, thank you, Alistair. All the best. All right, guys. See you later. Good, good, good. These are the scores of the games played on Monday. Knicks beating the Kings. Warriors losing to the Nuggets. The Spurs beat up the Lakers, as we told you. The Mavericks too strong for the Jazz. Timberwolves, they smashed the Trailblazers, you know. The Heat comfortable over the Rockets. The 76ers mashing up the Bulls and the Pistons. Three-point difference between them and the Hawks. Right? So, yeah, Greg Popovich. Yeah, you know, they say legend and great and all that. And, and, and we are in the age of hyperbole where everything is magnified and people whose vocabularies are very limited, Mariah, describe everything as brilliant, great, outstanding, wonderful, this, that, 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 that. This man would, this, would, would qualify for all of those superlatives. You know, he's uh, yeah. a true legend of the game. Definitely leaving his mark and somebody that's worth celebrating and discussing. Yep. Well, we still have a special interview to come out of St. Lucia, plus a look at day one of the first test between West Indies and England in Antigua. But after the break, the focus turns to the...